So welcome to the second video in my website giveaway series and this video we're going to go domain name hunting. So let's get into this. Hi and thanks for joining me again on my channel. You found the next video in my website giveaway video number two and in this video we're going to go domain name hunting. So if you've not seen video one please go check that out. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing so you don't miss this video series. This is a series of videos where I'm going to be building a website, a public case study website, grow it over the next 12 months and then on January the 2nd 2022 I will be giving the site away. No matter how big it is, no matter how valuable, hopefully fingers crossed it's worth thousands of dollars but I'm going to be giving it away to one lucky viewer. So if you've not subscribed to my newsletter already, you need to do so, so I can pick a winner from the emails and names submitted. So head over to carlbroben.com, click the little menu icon that says giveaway, and you can subscribe to my newsletter. That way you know you are entered into the giveaway. So in today's video, we're going to be looking for a suitable domain name. Now the niche you chose from the selection we had was hacks. So all sorts of hacks like lifestyle hacks, healthy hacks, food hacks, all sorts of different hacks. Not hacking computers, there's a few people think we're going to be doing that, we're not going to be doing that. Definitely lifestyle fun hacks. The kind of videos you see on YouTube where they tell you how to you know, increase the lifespan of a battery or how to keep milk fresh for longer uh, without a refrigerator, that type of life hack. So it's going to be fun, it's going to be interesting and what I'm going to need you to do is give me your help and support by commenting in the description below on every single video. I am always going to be asking you on every video I do for your ideas and suggestions because I really want this to be a kind of a community website, a community public case study that we can build together and share helpful information and that will help me grow this website to a successful business so I can give away a valuable asset. So from the comments I've had on my first video, there are a few obstacles that are seen to have sprung to light. And I want to discuss them in this video before we get into searching for a domain name and I want your help and advice. So the first potential problem I got in one of the comments was, uh, somebody said, if we're mentioning hacks in the domain name, then will Google see that as a negative keyword? So will Google think that is hacking computers, hacking bank accounts, hacking Facebook accounts, etc., which we do not want to be associated with? So should we include the word hacks in the domain name? Or should we have something really random like, I don't know, yellowmonkey.com? <laughs> I don't know, something strange. So do we have something fun or do we actually include the word hacks in it? I don't know. Comment down below, I want your suggestions on that. Then the second problem people have pointed out is if we reveal the domain name and show the website straight away from day one with like no content on and then start adding the content on and showing you every single step of the way, which I do plan to do. But if we do that right at the beginning, will somebody jump on the bandwagon and copy it? Hmm. I've had some websites copied in the past and it is a little bit of a concern of mine. So. My main priority is that I build a successful website and I don't care how I do it, whether we change his minds, whether we change the keywords, whether we change our uh, whole plan of action, I don't really care. I care about building you guys a successful and valuable asset. So, do we postpone holding off the, um, the exposing the website to the general public for a few weeks? while we build some authority, while we try and get ahead of the game with content before revealing the actual domain name and the niche out to the general public. Now I get it, it's a case study and we are going to be doing that, but should I do that right at the very beginning? Because somebody could copy this website step by step, page by page, and I don't want that to happen. I want to at least have a few weeks head start that if anybody does decide to copy the website, that we're ahead of the game. Google knows we were the first one on the scene with this content. Google will know that ours is the original content. So do we hold off? Do I do the domain name searching now? Find a suitable domain name, but don't reveal the exact one. Start publishing some content on it for a few weeks. 
and then reveal it and let's start sharing everything from then on. So maybe a few weeks into this. So again, comment down below. I need you to help me with those two things. Number one, do we have hacks in the domain name? Number two, should I reveal this entire case study right from the very start or give it a few weeks to allow me and my writers to get some content on here to start making this website have a little bit of authority and originality around this uh, niche. I will also do many polls and votes over on my community tab where I will give you options. So for instance, I might ask you what content should we write next? Should we do this content? Should we do that content? Should we do the other content? And I'll put it to a poll. And that way I'm keeping you involved and I'm keeping you interested every step of the way because after all, this website is for you. Like I say, one of you will own this website. But for now, let's head over to Compute and let's start searching for a few options on domain names. And then we might put it to a poll and get your opinions before I actually purchase it. Okay, so here we are and we're gonna have a look for some domain names. So I think first of all, I'm gonna have a quick search and look for some domain names that currently people are using in similar kind of niches or let's see what articles and topics are coming up for the word hacks and things like that. So let's just have a look and just type the word hacks. And let's just see what comes up. So obviously we've got YouTube videos are gonna pop up first so we can ignore those to begin with. So we've got here, so lifehack.org, Daily Mail, Miriam, hackaday.com, it's a good one. Um, let's have a look at this. No, nope, that's not one. Start hacking with a large community. Uh, you see, that's kind of what I'm worried about that we'll come up with in the, uh, the same search term as we don't want to be associated with um, things like that. Um, hack the box, an online platform to test your skills, penetration, testing, and cyber security. Again, don't sound great. So let's have a look at back up at that first that we saw, lifehacks.org. So this is kind of the website that I had in mind, 100 incredible life hacks. You see, th this word life hacks seems to pop up quite a bit. And as you can see, yeah, this is the sort of content, a lot of memes, uh, and a lot of videos. Let's just have a look at their homepage. So life hack. Ooh, okay. So they've got blogs about lifestyle hacks, but it's actually on a site that looks to be about kind of motivation, life um, improvement and things like that. Become a life hacker inside. So um, not quite what I had in mind for an actual overall website, but they are producing content around that. Let's just have a look at life hacks because this is this is what I think it will what it needs to be related to. So life hacks, so boardpanda.com. See, that's kind of a funny name. I was somebody was saying to me, why don't you just come up with something random like yellowmonkey.com or uh, bluebanana.com. Just really, really random name. And then you can put kind of any viral or hack, life hack, uh, how to's on there. You could put any sort of content on there that's um, related to just life in general, really. Um, let's have a look. At this. So this board panda, you see 40 life hacks that will change your life. That's what I call a list post. Now, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you'll see I'm quite big on list posts because they're very easy to do, they're inexpensive to produce. So I do like these list posts. And as you can see here, and that's a great one, isn't it? A tennis ball there, look, that you can use to hold anything. And that's the sort of thing I could just go get a tennis ball and we could make a few of these and put them around the house. So, you know, an article like that would be great. Maybe something like seven hacks you can do with a tennis ball there we go. Maybe I need to start writing some of these down. Um, so that's good. And again, look, it's just made up of memes. But yeah, it ranked for the word life hack. So yeah, it's great. I mean, that's, that's exactly what we wanted. Let's just see if we go to the actual homepage of this, see what kind of topic it is. So yes, yeah, so it's coming up with things like amazing tricks, um, amazing photos. So this is kind of a... I'd call this like a news feed, like a BuzzFeed type of site. But it does obviously have some life hacks and some general hack content. So let's just go back and have a look for some more. 
bright side, all top life, lifehacks.io. I'm just going to click that. I hope we don't get anything that we shouldn't pop up here. Yeah, so lifehacks.io. Uh, again, life and hacks seems to come into play quite a bit. And I think this is because just having the word hack, especially at the front of the domain name, might um, lead people and Google to think we're doing uh, other things um, like hacking bank accounts and stuff, which we don't want to do. Um, how to deal with toxic family members. 30 new things you should try today. 20 ways to practice self-love, self-forgiveness. How to make long-distance relationships work. So this has got a lot of content. I'm just going to type the word hack. It's got a lot of content similar to what we would, would have. So here we go. Seven mental hacks to be more confident. Conversational hacks. A awesome travel hacks. Genius life hacks. 10 brilliant camping hacks. 19 genius beauty hacks. Eight hacks to constantly improve yourself. So these are exactly the sort of content I envisage we would probably have to do. I'm just going to click this one. Eight awesome travel hacks. So let's see. So, okay. Get to know yourself. Do a program yourself. Know yourself. So this is this is it's quite a strangely laid out article, but I, I totally get what they're doing. They're trying to get away from kind of a list full of memes. They're trying to actually produce some written content. They call it the proposal look. So this could be like number one, get to know yourself. Number two, but they've done it slightly different. I quite actually like how they've done this. It doesn't read like a normal viral piece of content. That's pretty good, that. So 10 genius life hacks. Let's have a look at this one. So do do what's it say to save money, pay your bills. So it sets it sets the precedent, you know, life hacks to improve your life, not pay as many bills, uh, live a stress free life. Okay, so you can use a clothesline, acquire more ink out of your printer. I mean, opt for upgrades. Don't forget to turn off the lights. I mean, how easy is it to produce a photo like that? Eat and cook. Again, how easy is it for me to print, uh, produce a photo like that? Stick to generic prescriptions. Very, very easy piece of content. Uh, hair hacks. I mean, how many of us are in lockdown? I mean, you might be able to hear the children upstairs screaming their heads off at the minute. We're in full lockdown here. And um, having your hair cut is a big, big, big problem. You know, 11 hair hacks for people in lockdown. You know, that, that might be a piece of content. So, mm, pretty good. So, maybe hacks in the title could work. You know, so we could maybe have something, like I say, blue banana, squaremonkey.com. <laughs> I can't think of any more weird ones, but we could have something like that. Or we could try hacks in the domain name. Now, first of all, is there any domain names available with the word hack in it? And should we have hack at the beginning of the domain name, hack at the back of the main domain name? I don't know. So let's head over to this tool. So I use this one. So this is um, name licks. So L-I-X. This is um, a business name generator. It's, it's kind of where you can get ideas for business names or um, brand names. And it gives you some ideas. So let's just type the word hacks in here and see what it comes up with. So it gives you a um, choice. So you can have the brand keyword, so enter a type of brand, so the keyword is hacks. We could choose it by a name length, so short name, medium name, long name, or name style. So we could say that we want the, the domain name to be kind of real world um, names or rhyming words. So I'm going to go with brand keywords. I'm going to put hacks in first and let's hit generate and let's see what it comes up. Now this isn't a domain name registrar, it's not a domain name supplier, but it just gives us some ideas. So let's have a look. So hackers, see, I mean, we don't want anything like that, do we? Hackers, um, hack bite. Let's have a look. Fishing packs, jerks. 
stack hacks. Okay, so I can't really see any that's jumping out on me there. I mean, go hacks. I mean, that's not going to be available. I very much doubt it. In fact, I'm just going to bring up. So I go. I use GoDaddy for my domain registrar. So. So I'll just bring that up now. I mean, there are cheaper ones than GoDaddy, but it's just I have an account with them. It's just so much easier. So um, let's just try that one that we just saw then. Go hacks. Let's see if that would be available. I'd be amazed if it was. So obviously .co.uk is going to be available. But go hacks without any hyphens or whatever uh, doesn't look like it's... Oh, yeah, there we go. Ah, so go hacks is available for um, a paltry little eight and a half thousand pounds. So around ten thousand dollars. So, yeah, we, we won't bother with that one. Let's keep looking. Um, so that one wasn't available. Let's just go back to the name generator. I knew that one wouldn't be um let's have a look i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm just going to go back um and type in hacks but i'm just going to use the name length and i'm going to choose medium now i often find that this produces some better ones so let's have a look uh looks like very similar ones in this case let's have a look hackspiration oh okay let's have a look for that Hackspiration. Oh, okay, Hackspiration is there. Is that how you spell that? Let me just have a look. Hackspiration. Hacks right, okay, so Hackspiration is there for 99 pence. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a couple of these to a um, note and then we've got some f ideas for later. Okay, so we've got that one on the list. Let's have a look for some more Hackspiration. Let's go back to our search. Stack hacks. Stack hacks. Hmm. What else have we got? Hack logics, hack bytes, hack trap. See, hack trap sounds dodgy to me. That doesn't sound um, life friendly, does it? Uh, hack monster, hack champ, trick hacks. Again, that, that kind of sounds like magic, doesn't it? That we, we do magic tricks. Um, Hack Doc. You see, Hacking Bros. Definitely don't want to go with that one. Okay, so I think we've exhausted those. Okay, so let's try a new one. I'm going to go for Life Hacks. So let's generate something medium length on Life Hacks. Let's see what comes up for that. Page Hacker. No, again. Definitely don't want to go down that route. Okay, so there's not a lot coming up for that. What I'm, do is I'm just going to go back to GoDaddy and I'm just going to look for some general ones because I have been sent a few by viewers. And let me just grab a couple off my notepad. So the first thing I had was this one. So um, hack flick. Let's have a look at that. So yeah, hack flick is available. Hack flick. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that in my word. Let's keep that one on the list. Let's have a look for some more. So the next one I had was flippinghack.com. Let's have a look, see if that's available. Yes, again, that's another one that's available. We'll copy that one. And then another one I thought of um, the other night is actually not spelling the word with hacks so spelling it like this h-a-x so hacks so you know like life hacks like that yeah let's just see if this comes up with anything if we do it that way no so it's not picking that up so let me just take off life hacks and just put it as hacks let's have a look hacks more hacks bow no, again, not a lot of good ones, but I'm just going to go to GoDaddy and put these in. So let me put life hacks in, like spelt a different way, see if that comes up with anything. My life hacks is available. Hmm, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? My life hacks. What we're saying there is that the my hacks that I've come up with around general day life things. So let's put that one on the list for sure. And let's search for another one. Let's try this one. Try this hack, spelled H 
AC. So try this AC AC is there. Um, try this. Try this on. I'm not really wanting that. No, it doesn't look like that one. Oh, try the hack. Okay, let's put that on the list. So let's just try as well. So if we're going to do that one, let's do this one. Try this hack, the full word, try this hack. Okay, so we didn't have that one, did we? Try this hack. So I'm going to put that one on the, the sheet. And then do we have the actual trythishacks.com? We do, so that one's available as well at 99 pence. So again, that sounds like a good one. Let's put that one onto the list. Okay, so let's get away from the word try hacks. I'm just going to try something. My, one of my thoughts is, should we have a positive word before the word hacks? So if hacks is maybe seen as a negative word, should we have something positive like friendly hacks or fun hacks, creative hacks, something like that. So let's just try creative hacks let's just try that so create hacks hmm I don't know I'm not sure about that create hacks I think creative so that I mean that's that would be awesome wouldn't it creative life hacks I mean that's that's perfect for what we need but I'm afraid I'm not paying £500 for a domain name. Um, creative Hacks, spelt that way, is available. Let's put that on the list. So I like that one. Um, creative Shacks. <laughs> kind of not, not exactly what we want. Okay, so let's try Fun Hacks. Let's try that. Fun Hacks. So Fun Hacks. Funhacks.com fun hacks no so yeah so i knew that'd be an expensive one fun hacks six thousand pounds okay fun hacked ed on the end hacked is not good that's definitely going to fall in the realms of hacking fun hackers again that's not going to work is it so yes yeah, so i don't think i knew fun anything with the word fun in front of it tends to be expensive so let's put helpful hacks let's have a look Helpfulacts.com, helpfulacts slash, we're not good. Don't want any backspaces, hyphens, full stops, any of that. The Helpful Hacks. See, there it is, helpfulhacks.com. I mean, that is perfect, but it's a thousand pounds. I wish I could get that one. I wish I could afford that one. I really do. Helpfulhacks.com. It's there, isn't it? That's perfect. But what if we add Helpful Hacks, H A X? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to add that one onto the list. So there's a few ideas and a few uh, suggestions we've found. Um, thank you if you've submitted your suggestion and keep them coming in the comments below and we'll decide in the next few days which route we go down. Okay, so there you go. I'm sure you'll agree we found some interesting domain names. What we actually decide on, I am not sure yet. I will spend the next 24, 48 hours deciding that. I don't want to build this website on a domain name that might hold back the progress of it or uh, be shown in the eyes of Google to be a negative keyword or a bad domain name. I want to get it right. So I'm going to make a poll over on my community tab in the next few hours and you can head over there and you can vote and have your opinion on the type of domain name I should go for. And then I will purchase the domain name and I will start the next video where we will be adding the theme, the logo, the style and look of the website. And again, that will be video three out in the next few days, maybe a week or so's time. And then after that, we'll be adding content. And that's when I'll be doing keyword research and I'll be showing you how to find these hacks and these videos and these articles. And let's do some keyword research together. At the end of the day, after 12 months, this website will have at least 60, 70 or 80 articles on the website. So it will hopefully be a valuable asset. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you in uh, video number three, where we'll do themes and logos and website style and design. And that video will be out shortly. So thanks again. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already to the channel, then you don't miss out on this. And like I say, head over to carlbrobert.com, subscribe to my newsletter to be entered into the giveaway. 
Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video.